HMAS Toowoomba is currently involved in a combined maritime forces mission to provide security and stability to the Middle East area of operations. At the heart of it, Toowoomba has been tasked with stopping the transit of illegal narcotics as well as weapons and to act as a deterrent to piracy within the region. But as they say, all work and no play is no good for anyone, let alone the 192 sailors and officers on board. So with that in mind, a port visit to the Seychelles was approved. But before the sailors can enjoy their time ashore, the 180 metre long warship had to manoeuvre into the tiny port. The task requiring careful planning and a delicate touch from the officers on the bridge. Aiming just forward of the mooring buoy that we're going to tie the bow up to. Once safely moored, the ship's scuba team conducted a safety and security dive around the vessel, all part of the ship's standard operating procedures. Fresh food and stores were also taken on board. This visit is more than just R&R. &R. Every crew member's, while ashore, is part of Hearts and Minds strategy, which is proving successful in this area of operations. Like everywhere, you know, the Australian military has a, uh, a long and distinguished history of uh, being around uh, in certainly this part of the world, and uh, uh, they, they do appreciate the Australians uh, rocking in. Uh, we were very fortunate. We uh, went into Kenya, or Mombasa in Kenya, uh, the other week, and it's the first time in over 20 years that uh, an Australian ship's been there, uh, and some of the locals still remember the Australians coming in back then. Australia's contribution to the Combined Maritime Forces mission is to provide security and stability to the Middle East area of operations and will be ongoing with HMAS Newcastle set to relieve Toowoomba and her crew at the end of May.